Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks have defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-2 in overtime at Rogers Arena, their first game in almost a month. And uh, yeah, I want to do something different, I want to do my post game outside so you get the natural environment, got neighbors, which is cool, got birds chirping, got sun lighting up half, the, half of my face. But let's go, let's talk about the goals and then I'll talk about what I liked, what I didn't like and one other thing. By the way, my post game live stream will be tonight at 10.15 p.m. On YouTube I hope that you join me William Nylander opens the scoring just three minutes and 45 seconds in the game uh, off a turnover in the neutral zone John Tavares up to Nylander comes in the left side and rips a puck past Braden Holtby on his glove side uh, maybe you don't like Holtby's positioning there and I think you're a little worried at that point that it's gonna be a long game for the Canucks considering that that goal has, is scored just four minutes into the game but the Canucks come out of that period uh, they don't give up another goal despite taking one um, uh, one penalty there to Alex Adler maybe a foreshadowing of things to come and then it's one nothing Toronto after the first period second period we see the incident, I'll talk about this later, of Alex Edler kneeing Zach Hyman, five minute and a game. So then, uh, five minute penalty. So then Vancouver almost kills it off, but then with 30 seconds left, Matthews, a bit of a broken play actually, just kind of comes in. It could have been close to offside, but it wasn't. Chips the puck over Braden Holtby, uh, in and out really quick, and now it's two nothing Toronto. But just a minute and a half later, Bo Horvat scores on his second breakaway of the game. He was thwarted earlier in the second period, but it was a great pass from Hoglander from his own end up the left side. Kind of um, similar vibe to uh, Nylander's goal where Horvat comes, streaks down the left side and puts the puck past Jack Campbell. Horvat from the Hoglander, 16-23 into the second period. By the way, that power play goal from Matthews was 14-57 in the second period, so just five minutes remaining. And then it's 2-1 it's Toronto heading into the third. Back and forth, some good chances, some good saves, some posts, some crossbars. And then Hoaglander with the second point of the game. Actually, uh, some controlled zone time. Pearson to Horvat. Horvat over to Chatfield. Chatfield shoots. Hoaglander fights off a Toronto defender. And he scores the tying goal 12 minutes in the third period. And now it's 2-2. The Emo household is going crazy. And then we get to overtime. After another close call, another, I think it was Austin Matthews. Oh, no, uh, yeah, it was, uh, there was actually some really close calls right before that Hoaglander goal. We saw Hopi poke check Wayne Simmons and then do that whole, you know, spin around on his back and actually stops the puck with one of his pads. It's an amazing save. You guys will see it all over highlight packages if you haven't seen it already. And then Hoaglander scores. And then the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs almost score with 19 seconds remaining, but the puck goes along the crossbar off the post and out then we get into overtime and then just a minute and 19 seconds in it's Bo Horvat now the first shift was Hughes Besser and Miller and they controlled the play but not uh, not really any good chances and then out comes Horvat out comes Myers Myers controls the puck for a little bit doesn't really get much of a, of a chance loops back to his own zone and then he finds Horvat streaking down the left side, very similar to his other goal, very, which was similar to the Nylander goal. And Holtby, uh, sorry, Horvat puts it past Jack Campbell on his blocker side. Campbell did get um, a, a piece of it. I'm sure it's a goal that he wants to have back. But uh, And I like Jack Campbell because of his work with my cousin Dusty. But on this night, I wanted the Canucks to light him up. They didn't light him up, but they did score one more than the, the Toronto Maple Leafs scored on Holtby. So that's a long way of saying that. Horvat scores the game winner one minute and 19 seconds in. Horvat from Myers and Besser. Besser still finishing off his shift, the, the shift that started um, the, the overtime. And Horvat it is his third point of the game. And the Canucks win 3-2. I am so happy for them. I am so happy for them. For them to go through all the adversity, all the health struggle, all the fear, um, all the uncertainty, for them to pull out this win, um, it, it, it's, it's quite remarkable when you think about it. Now, we don't know what, how they're going to feel tomorrow. We don't know how they're going to feel on Tuesday. But aside from a, a really shaky start, I actually thought the Canucks played well. Yes, Toronto outplayed them. They outshot them for sure. And you could argue that Toronto outplayed them for the majority of the game. Toronto outshot Vancouver 39-24, beat them in the face-off circle, out-hit them. The only thing the Canucks did better uh, was get more penalty minutes because of Alex Edler, and, um, and they had more block shots, 23 of them, which is a really gutsy effort when you think about it. So let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing. Braden Holtby, he makes 37 saves. 
many of them of the spectacular variety. We know that one where he pushed from right to left to stop someone. He made some great saves uh, close in on Austin Matthews. And of course, that poke check windmill leg save on on Wayne Simmons. So, so many great saves. Hopefully, yeah, the second goal, you don't blame him on, the Austin Matthews power play goal. First goal, he might have liked to have back, but the whole team was kind of off to a slow start. So, Braden Holtby, excellent, excellent game. 37 saves on 39 shots. The, the first line, the new, the de facto first line with PD out, you, you can't, there's no lot of line. So, you could argue that uh, the Miller, um, you know, the Miller Besser, no, the Miller VC, uh, 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 line was um, yeah Miller Besser and VC was the second line technically at the way they lined up at least uh, they listed out so the Horvat Pearson Hoglander line was outstanding Horvat with two goals and an assist with the game winner Hoglander with a goal and an assist Tanner Pearson held off the score sheet but he was a plus three because he was on the ice for all three of those goals um, yeah I guess he just got on the ice um, to join Horvat and, and Myers, even though Besser still got the assist on that overtime. Isn't the, isn't the sound of children a beautiful thing? Um, I was going to go tell them to be quiet, but no, I, that would be a rude neighbor thing of me to do. They're probably wondering, who's this guy talking about the Vancouver Canucks in his backyard? So yes, Horvat, two goals and assists. Hoaglander with a goal and assist. Uh, Pearson with a plus three playing on that line. And then you also had assist to Myers and Chatfield to round out the scoring for the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, and Besser had an assist on that power play. I mean, on that overtime winner. So what I liked, I liked Holtby. I like Horvat and Hoaglander. So basically anyone who's, uh, you know, whose last name starts with an H. And really, I just love the overall gutsy effort of the Canucks. Their resiliency, their determination, their courage. Excellent. I know that Toronto Maple Leafs weren't feeling sorry for them, especially you saw that in the first five, six minutes of the game. But just a gutsy effort overall from the Vancouver Canucks. What I didn't like, um, I didn't like the knee, obviously, from Edler to Zach Hyman. Now, Edler was at the end of a three-minute shift. I get that. Uh, Edler gets a little lazy on defense sometimes, but Edler w- had basically made it to his bench. So I, uh, he was almost at his bench. He was in front of the Toronto bench. And uh, yes, he was maybe trying to thwart um, you know, an odd man rush or a rush in uh, entry zone, zone entry by Hyman. But that was a very dangerous play, and I, I saw that it's the same knee that Hyman has had problems for, with before. So I did not like that hit. I didn't like it that it was a Canucks player. I would certainly wouldn't have liked it if it was the reversed, and that a Toronto player did that to Vancouver. So we will see if there gets any more supplemental discipline. He already got five in a game. If it is a suspension, I think it's going to be one game max. Like I don't, I don't see that's completely dirty, uh, but still, it wasn't uh, the best look, and uh, uh, kind of a black mark on the Canucks win a little bit. And we'll see how, how upset, we'll see what Hyman, how long he'll be out for. And we'll see what kind of attitude Toronto has about it, um, uh, you know, next for the next game. I, I wouldn't call Edler a dirty player, but he, he just doesn't have a lot of foot speed anymore. He tries to do veteran, you know, shortcuts. But kneeing someone in, in their knee is, is not a recommended practice for sure. The other thing, you know, I look at the ice time. Gravac only at 451. Michaela 729. Boyd 837. And Harlech, 818. So those were the four guys that had um, less than 10 minutes for the Vancouver Canucks. Understandable that the Canucks were playing shorthanded for a little bit and understanding that you want to ride your big guns like Miller, Besser, and Horvat. So I get all that. But, uh, you know, I, th- I think you don't want to overtax your best players already. And speaking of that, Myers played 30 minutes of ice time. So I think we should give him a shout-out in the What I Liked uh, in section as well. Myers had 30, Hamnick at 25, and Hughes at 24, all because Edler only play 13 minutes which is actually normal for some players but we know that Edler's used to playing 20 22 minutes so I guess I did like what Myers um, how he how he responded in his 30 minutes of ice time but one thing I didn't like it or the Canucks need to manage better might have to be their their um, their time on ice especially as the these games start to pile up yeah, it's funny. I think these kids are louder than me. My voice is kind of going. I was on the golf course all day, but I uh, had a really good day, as you guys know. One other thing. Um, you know, I just want to talk about how I, I kind of led with this, how courageous, how how impressed I how happy I am that the Canucks won. It's not to say that they're going to go on a 19-0 run and somehow make the playoffs, but uh, you, you got to feel good for them. they got to feel good in the locker room. they got to feel good going, at least mentally, uh, emotionally, going to bed tonight. We'll see how they feel tomorrow. 
but they looked fine and they actually looked stronger as the game went on. I think they were just in shell shock the first five or six minutes, not sure how their body would react to competitive play. And the Maple Leafs are a very good, fast skating team, very good skilled team. So overall, the thing I want to say today is I'm so happy for the Canucks. I'm so happy for the, the franchise, for the team. And we don't know if they're going to make it to the final 19, all of them. We don't know if they're going to play all of them. We don't know who's going to play, who's going to come back, whatever it may be. But let's be happy for the team, especially the players tonight, led by Holtby, Horvat, and Hoglander. A great, great win. Okay, now that I'm at the end, um, I want to give a shout-out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Justin Credible, Nux fan number 29, Lucas Gates, Chris S., and Adam Broomfield. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the support of all members of all levels. If you want to become a member of this channel, press the Join button underneath this video or underneath any of my videos, or press the Memberships tab on my... Or, no, or go to the Memberships tab in my community page. Still trying to uh, get wrap my head around the, the fact that the Cox won, and uh, I'm so thrilled. Join me tonight, 10.15, for my post-game live stream on YouTube. And subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. And become a member of the channel if you like to. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. And tell me one other thing. I will do my best to read, react, and reply. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves. And take care of each other. Have a great night. See you at 10.15 tonight. God bless. And go Canucks go.